Hi friends, welcome back. Today we are going to discuss uh, the determination of fugacity in gas mixture and it is also popularly known as Levi-Strandel rule. So this rule or this particular derivation was proposed by Lewis and Randall in around 1923 and with the help of this derivation we can deduce the fugacity of the individual components as well as we can deduce the fugacity of the gases in the mixture for example suppose uh, we are we are having mixture of real gases like say mixture of oxygen and nitrogen or mixture of or any another mixture so that fugacity of that mixture of gas can be deduced easily using the lewis randall rule and uh, this rule again the derivation is based on the derivation that we have already discussed that is uh, it is going on the lines of uh, graphical method so as we have already seen earlier in the graphical method that rt dln fi is equal to vi bar dp where fi is nothing but it is the fugacity of the ith constituent which is present in the mixture and vi bar it is the partial molar volume of the ith constituent that is present in the mixture so suppose as i have told if we are mixing say nit oxygen and nitrogen so over here fi will be the fugacity of oxygen and similarly vi bar will be the partial molar volume of oxygen and similarly we can take fi as the fugacity of nitrogen and vi bar as the partial molar volume of nitrogen respectively and uh, we also know that the departure that can also be written as alpha i can be written as rt upon p minus vi bar where as we know that alpha is the departure and it is the function of temperature total pressure and the composition of the mixture or we can also tell it as partial molar volume of the composition so what we can do is we can substitute this value or we can rearrange this equation and then substitute the value in above equation and hence we can write dln fi rt will also go that side so we will we can first write vi bar upon rt into dp and that can again be written as rt upon p minus alpha i 1 upon rt dp okay so further we can simplify this equation and hence we can write dln fi is equal to dln p minus alpha i rt dp okay so rt rt will be multiplied and hence we will have only dp by p and dp by b p can be written as ln of p minus again we will have alpha i upon rt into dp okay and now what we will do we will integrate this equation we will integrate this equation between the limits that is between the limits or between the limits of very low pressure to any pressure p so the integration will be done between very low pressure p star to any appreciable pressure p so upon integration we will have dln fi upon fi star will be equal to ln again integration of dln p will be ln of p and ln of p upon p star minus 1 upon rt is constant integration p star to p alpha i dp okay now further as we know that pi or from Raoult's law we are we all know that the partial pressure of any system is equal to the mole fraction of that constituent into the partial pressure of the pure of that pure 
constituent okay so we can write pi is equal to ni into p star where pi is the partial pressure of the ith constituent will be equal to ni is the mole fraction of that ith constituent into p is the pressure of that particular constituent in the pure state so upon rearranging this we can write p star will be equal to pi star upon ni so we have p star so in place of p star we can substitute pi star upon ni so substituting that we will have d ln fi upon fi star is equal to and this will be we will over here we will have pi divided by ni and as we know that denominator of a denominator is always a numerator so directly i am writing ln ni plus ln of p upon pi star minus 1 upon rt integration p star 2p alpha i dp further we will again rearrange this equation so that we can write dln fi upon fi star can be written as sorry it is only ln i forgot so it is only ln so this ln fi upon fi star can be written as ln fi minus ln fi star and this fi we can take it on the right hand side and it will be plus ln fi so we can write ln fi will be equal to ln ni plus ln p plus ln fi upon pi p star and star minus 1 upon rt integration p star to p alpha i dp okay so this denominator will be minus on this hand side so when we take it on right hand side it will be plus and again this term can we can write it as ln p minus ln of pi so again we can rearrange to get ln of fi star upon pi as we all know that pi star is very low pressure and it can be virtually taken as zero and as we all know that at very low pressure all the gases they behave ideally so as we have seen in the definition of fugacity we can write that fi star upon pi star can be taken as unity according to the definition and if we take ln of this term then ln of fi star upon pi star will be equal to 0 as we know that ln of 1 is always equal to 0 okay so this term will be equal to 0 and hence our equation will take form ln fi is equal to ln of ni plus ln of p minus 1 upon rt integration of p star to p alpha i dp okay so this is our one of the equation with the help of which we can determine the fugacity of the gas mixture subject to the condition that if we know pressure and volume data so if pressure and volume data of the gas mixture is known their partial molar volume is can be determined so pv from pressure volume data the partial molar volume of the individual constituent can be determined and further we know that alpha i at various total pressure can be calculated from this particular equation so we can find alpha i with this particular equation if we know vi bar and at total pressure and temperature alpha i at various pressures can be calculated very easily and this the integration form this integration form that we can already or we have already determined by graphical methods so the integration term can be easily evaluated 
using graphical method so mole fraction of the component is known pressure is known alpha we can find it out partial molar volume is known and hence we can determine the fugacity of the individual components of the mixture at any pressure or at any total pressure p so again as from pressure and volume data we can determine the partial molar volume of any constituent and from that alpha i at various pressures can be calculated using the relation alpha i is equal to rt by p minus vi that is this relation rt by p minus vi bar we can find the value of alpha i and from this and then after getting that we can determine or we can find out this integration value using graphical method that we have already seen and hence and we can find out this value we know the mole fraction of any constituent or we are mixing so mole fraction is already known pressure is known this value is also known so all the three values or all the three terms on the right hand side are known and hence the fugacity can be determined very easily now in a special case if in a special case there is no change in the volume when we are mixing the gas at constant temperatures okay so if there is no change then the partial molar volume will be equal to molar volume of the individual constituent and under such circumstances the last two terms that is these two terms of the equation can be written equal to fi dash and it is nothing but the fugacity of the pure constituent at total pressure p so again in special case if we are considering that the volume of the system does not changes and if the volume of the system is not changing then partial molar volume can be written as its molar volume and if volume is not changing then the last two terms that is both these terms this is pressure and this is the fugacity term so this both these terms can be combined and written as the fugacity of the ith constituent in its pure state at the total pressure p and hence our equation will take the form ln fi equal to or it is we can say it is equivalent to ln ni plus ln fi dash and we can remove the logarithm from both hand sides and hence we will have fi is equal to ni fi dash so with the help of this relation also we can find out the fugacity subject to the condition that the volume does not changes and hence we can define our fugacity of the gas would be equal to the mole fraction of mole fraction of the ith constituent in the mixture into the fugacity in its pure state at total pressure or at the total pressure so with both these equations we can easily determine the fugacity of mixture of gases hope the topic is clear thank you very much